you know, I, I, I think Tommy, by the end of his time as premier, had a sense of his power and had a sense of um, how that could be used, and yet he exercised it in a very particular way. When we observe that he was in fact very pro-business in Saskatchewan, that he encouraged uh, entrepreneurial behavior, that he invited investment, especially in the, in the resources sector in Saskatchewan, and made it very clear to business they were welcome and the rule of law prevailed and property rights existed and prevailed. Um, you know, and, and that he was a fiscal conservative who delivered 17 years of balanced budgets in Saskatchewan. Um, I, I, think, I think we have to be reasonably reassured you know, that, uh, that A, he was practical, B, he was, he was, uh, he was not communist, and, and C, I think most important, he understood money and power in the context of how it was possible to use money and power um, and influence money and power for social good. And that's something we don't often think about. We think of, okay, money and power is on the right-hand political spectrum. It's our shorthand. Um, ideals and, uh, and, and, and people sort of speaking without resources or a power base are on the left hand, in our crude political shorthand. And then Tommy's sort of demonstration that's not really how it has to be. But how do you deal with that idea, the hero, who doesn't look like a hero? Well, I, I think of photos of Tommy from the time, there's this great photo of him with, uh, with Ed Broadbent and Alan Blakeney, both of whom, as far as I know, are sort of average size individuals. And Tommy is in between them, and he is so small. Yeah. And it's incredible how really physically tiny and compact. I met him a couple of times, sort of as a teenager coming up to Parliament, and it's just this minuscule person. Yes. And thin as well, so it's not only short, but thin, you know, just a wisp. Absolutely, absolutely. And, um, you know, and as so you're right, I mean, he, he came across very much um, by strength of words, but he, he didn't come across as sort of this archetypal heroic figure. The fact that we do sort of, in a sense, uh, revere him, since we're talking about the, the heroic range of responses, really speaks to the fact that, that heroes are often a vessel into which we pour what we wish to idolize and what, wish, what we wish to choose as being great. So when I think of him, then it seems to me that it says something about Canadian values. And, and here's a guy who's sort of the classic underdog. He's a small guy, physically. He's an immigrant. Uh, he has ill health as a child, and manages to overcome that. He leads a, a real underdog party to prominence over the course of his life. And he does things which are simultaneously idealistic and very practical, including but not limited to Medicare. And so it says something to me um, along the lines of, well, maybe that's who we are. Maybe we're a country which wishes to be both idealistic and practical, and which does think that little guys should have a shot. Thank you.